In this video, I would like to kind of work this integral right here. We have x times the sine of x uh, with respect to x. And we're going to do this integral using integration by parts. And I went ahead and wrote the formula right here. So we have the integral of u dv equals this expression. So it looks like to get going, we need a value for u and a value for dv. Well, the u, we know ultimately we're going to end up differentiating, so we'd like to use something that is nice to differentiate, and the dv, ultimately, we're going to integrate, so maybe something that would be nice to integrate. So let's go ahead and write u equals, with a du below it equals, and then we have our v equals with that dv that we're looking for right below that. So let's go ahead and maybe use x for our u, because that will be nice to differentiate, because the derivative of x is, well, dx, just the 1. And that means that the sine x dx is going to be our dv. And so when I integrate that, I get negative cosine x. Okay, so let's kind of fill our formula out now. I have u times v. And that's going to be uh, the x times the negative cosine x. So I could say negative x times cosine x minus the integral now of v du. So v du. So it's the integral of negative cosine x, basically just dx. So with respect to x. Well, the negatives here, we could bring that out and we could uh, have them cancel to make positives. So we're looking then for the integral of, well, cosine x with respect to x. And that's not bad at all because that's just going to be uh, the positive sine of x. And we'll put a plus c right there. So it looks like using integration by parts, this should be our integral. Okay, so what's good to do? Let's go ahead and differentiate this just kind of to ensure that we've done it correctly. So it looks like we have two terms. We have a product rule right here and then we just have uh, the derivative of sine x. Okay, so the product rule says the derivative of the first times the second. So the derivative of negative x will be negative 1 times the second, which will be cos x, plus the first times the derivative of the second. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. Okay, and then of course here the derivative of sine will be cosine x, and the derivative of our constant just goes away. So let's clean this up a little bit and kind of see what it is we have. So we have negative cosine x, and then here the negatives cancel, so plus x times the sine of x, and then plus the cosine x, and of course the negative and the positive on the cosine cancel, and we're left with x sine x, which is uh, what we're integrating in the first place. So we know that the integral of x times the sine of x with respect to x, using integration by parts in this case, is going to give us this expression, negative x times the cosine of x plus sine of x, and then just plus some constant c.